genesis of those trends um, is often given to uh, cultural mores that emerged in the in the you know late uh, mid to late twentieth century. Um, but I've often thought that an underrated aspect of it is something that wasn't an idea. It didn't come out of any graduate school. It was a piece of technology, namely birth control. Um, how central do you think the creation of birth control as a widely used piece of um, social, <clears throat> cultural, and medical technology was to all of the downstream consequences we see today? Yeah, I think it was absolutely essential. I think it is the most important thing to affect relations between men and women since Eve took the apple in the Garden of Eden. <laughs> I think, although that's not a popular position, I think uh, that the Vatican called that one right. I remember uh, working at a magazine called The Public Interest for a legendary intellectual named Irving Kristol. And one day Irving came into the office and said, do you know what the most important document of the 20th century is, the most predictive one? I said, no. He said, Humane Vitae, the document reaffirming what had been ancient church teaching against artificial contraception. I didn't think much of it at the time, but later, years later, when I finally read that document, I saw why he said that, because the document makes predictions about what's going to happen in a world where contraceptive sex is the norm. Uh, the document predicted a rise in tension between men and women, a rise in infidelity, uh, and a, a general souring of romance. It also predicted that governments would use this technology coercively. Mm -hmm. And in retrospect, uh, all of those predictions have been ratified empirically in ways that the author of the document couldn't have known at the time. And that's an astonishing thing. So yes, the, the pill is essential. Um, and I also have a lot of sympathy uh, in the matter of same-sex marriage when the advocates for same-sex marriage said one thing. I disagreed with them about all of it. But when they said, you know, heterosexuals messed up marriage long before we asked for it. And I think that is true. And I think the birth control pill has a lot to do with that. This could not have been foreseen in the 1960s. In the 1960s, people advocated for artificial contraception on the grounds that it would improve marriage, right? That it would give men and women control um, uh, over their destinies, etc. That it would prevent abortion was another argument that was put forward. Both of these arguments were completely wrong. The widespread adoption of the pill led to uh, a rise in, a sharp rise in divorce, first of all. And then uh, 1973, the legalization of abortion. And you see this in country after country, by the way. It's not just the United States. Whenever uh, contraception is legalized, just a few years later, uh, it's abortion on demand. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's a pattern. So what does it tell us that the birth control pill's adoption actually led to widespread family breakup? Uh, I think it tells us that the people who saw this coming were right. Mm 